I was frying eggs, then it wanted to be an egg, seconds later I was frying a hamster. So the other day I was scrolling on TikTok and I got this one video recommended to me of someone keeping their hamster in a really really small cage and I just thought are there other videos like these? So I just searched hamster and there were so many videos that were just borderline animal abuse and I just thought I need to talk about this. Before we start I just want to add a quick disclaimer. I do not know what's happening behind the scenes so I will be judging these people solely on what I see in the video. With that being said, let's get started. This was actually the video that got recommended to me, so let's react to it. And it went like... A little bit of in my life. First off, let's start with what she just said. So I decided to buy a hamster. I'm a big advocate of adopt, don't shop. What that means is that you should adopt a hamster from a local rescue instead of giving money to these pet mills that just breed and breed more animals with a lot of bad genetics and bad health. I'm not against breeding, I'm against irresponsible breeding. If you decide to get your hamster from an ethical breeder, props to you and thank you for supporting them. Let's keep watching. Oh, he's monkey barring. Of course. And he's trying to get out. Well, that just happens when you get a wire cage that's also really small. As you can see by the video, there's not much enrichment. So if I was a hamster, I would definitely want to flee that cage too. In this next video, the cage isn't all too small. It's definitely under the 775 square inch minimum. But compared to other videos I've seen on TikTok, this is actually quite good. But let's see what this person puts inside of the cage. Okay, paper-based bedding, that's good. A sand bath, very important. What's next? No, <laughs> a wire wheel. Oh no, now she's adding wool, okay. Like I mentioned in my last video about the eight most common hamster care mistakes, you should never give your hamster a wire wheel because it hurts their feet and wool. That's because wool can get wrapped around their feet and their teeth. The first thing I see is PetSmart, but I've already said what I think about buying hamsters. So let's just move along. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my, no. Oh, you can literally see how he's struggling to walk in that wheel. I will never understand people that buy this type of stuff. You can just see how much he's like struggling. And at some point it just becomes a matter of using your brain. I've said it once and I've said it again. If your cage is smaller than the lunchbox you take to school, you know you're doing something wrong. This is absolutely horrible and I feel really bad for this cutie. The title of this one is When you try to introduce your pets for the first time. Oh. Of course it's a cat. I mean, at least it's a kitten, but sometimes they can be way more vicious. Oh, oh no, no. <sighs> it's kind of strange that I have to explain this, but don't put prey and predator in the same room. I understand that some bigger rodents get along with dogs and cats who are accustomed to seeing them. But this type of stuff is just irresponsible. And here we have another animal introduction, this time with a dog. Oh. What are they doing? Where are they? Is this a classroom? I've never understood people who take their animals to school. I understand that this dog is probably a service dog, but she probably took the hamster to school to show it off to her classmates. I would never put my rats into a carrier and keep them there for the whole day in a noisy classroom. I saved this next video because it's just full of misinformation. It says, this is not funny. The sad thing is, I found this on a cute hamster video. When the hamsters does this, the, the English is just throwing me off. Okay, sorry. When the hamster does this, when they are pregnant to kill the baby, 
that is in their belly. Okay, no. This is something called stargazing and it's a neurological issue. And as you can see, it's often present in store-bought hamsters. This is due to bad genetics. They aren't trying to kill their babies. And everyone in the comment section is believing this person. There really is a big problem with people who believe absolutely anything they see on TikTok. Let's see. I was so excited that my hamster was pregnant until... Oh no, they're in this small cage. Seven baby hamsters. That's normal. <laughs> what? I mean, they can get from six to eight, sometimes even more. Why is she surprised? Now, you might be thinking that I'm being a bit too harsh, but I went on her page and then I saw this. She shows off the father. And then she just shows how they're having intercourse. This just seems planned. This is what I mean by irresponsible breeding. Not only is the mother under bad care, but the babies that were born are going to have the same fate. I had to screen record this one because it wouldn't let me download. It says, vacations for a hamster. Oh no, 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 no. He can fall in. What are you doing? She just puts him in herself. What is this? <sighs> okay, so hamsters clean themselves. You should never put them in water. Just because they're swimming doesn't mean that they're actually enjoying it. He has to swim because what else should he do? Drown? This is extremely stressful. Please don't do this. I picked out this next video because I have the feeling that it's staged. It's not very common to just find a hamster on the road. But let's see. In this case, you of course have to wash him because he's quite dirty. But like I said, if this is staged, it's quite cruel to just put so much dirt on him, let him shiver there and then also give him a bath. Fed him some cereal. Okay, but you can tell this isn't cereal. This is actually hamster food. This just seems like they already had it at home and that this is their hamster. There's a similar problem on YouTube where people have started noticing that some channels that say that they are rescuing puppies are actually putting the puppies in those situations, then filming it to get money. I find that absolutely repulsive and I hope this video isn't staged. I've also decided to pick this video, not because of the content, but because of the comments. It says, please tell me how you guys' hamsters died, because these guys die from anything. And if you read through the comments, you can just see how many people are uneducated about proper hamster care. Parents left me alone, so I let my hamster free in my living room. Why did he run straight into the fireplace? <sighs> Why would you let your hamster run around if there's a fireplace? He fell down the stairs in a hamster ball. Hamster balls make hamsters feel dizzy and disorientated. If you want your hamster to have some free roam time, you should set up a playpen. My dog barked at it and yeah, it died. This is another example why you shouldn't introduce other animals to hamsters. My mom vacuumed it by mistake. Again, why is he just running around and why didn't you tell your parents that he's around? I know that my rats have their own room, but I still put a sign there when I let them free roam. I was riding my bike, then it fell out of my pocket and my back wheel ran over it. Are you dumb? Like, what is this? You just take him into your pocket and then yeah let's go outside hamsters are nocturnal they need to sleep during the day it's not nice to take them outside and it's even worse to put them in your pocket and ride your bike when i was five i tried cleaning his cage with a vacuum and he got sucked into it this is why I think that if your parent and your kid wants a small animal, like a hamster, it's your responsibility, not the kid's. It's your responsibility to make sure that the kid doesn't harm the animal. In my opinion, I think hamsters aren't good pets for kids because they generally don't like to be picked up. And like I said, they're also nocturnal. So your child would have to be awake at like 2 a.m. to be actually able to see the hamster. My dad oiled the wheel so it wouldn't squeak. Hammy took the opportunity and poisoned himself. Did you guys just use normal 
oil for like doors and stuff. Personally, I would recommend using coconut oil. My dad fed it too many Doritos, then it died. Humans just project their desires onto other animals, like wanting to eat sweet foods, salty foods that shouldn't be consumed by those animals. He fell into a candle and burned? How does he fall into a candle? Climbed to the top of his cage and fell on his back, snapped his spine. My hamster got frozen to death after my little brother put it in the freezer overnight. Again, don't give these small animals to kids. My friend's hamster got super cold and didn't move, so they tried baking him. With some of these comments, I'm just like, wouldn't it be common sense not to do this? Like, imagine if your child gets cold, would you put them in the microwave? Imagine if your dog gets cold, would you put them in the microwave? No. <laughs> I was making a smoothie and he fell into the blender. Are these even real or are they just trying to be quirky? What is this? I got tired of mine, so I let her outside. She probably died from another animal by now. I hope this person never owns another pet. I put a tiny leash on her and accidentally picked the leash up. She swinged in the air and choked. Hamsters aren't dogs, so you shouldn't put them on a leash. Their bodies are just not built for it. One of my hamsters ate the other one because they stayed in the garage and we forgot to feed them. Mine fought to the death by eating each other's face off. I used to have two, one ate the other and the one that ate it died from food overload. One ate the other, only the strongest survive I guess. Hamsters are solitary, please, please don't put them together. They will literally kill each other like you see here. It bit me so I bit it back and it died? At this point, I just think these people are lying. How does an animal bite you and then you think, oh yeah, let me bite it back. I was frying eggs, then it wanted to be an egg. Seconds later, I was frying a hamster. Again, where are these people letting their hamsters run around? I put him in the blender as a jail cell for being a bad little hamster and my brother turned it on not knowing he was in there. And someone asked, was the blender not clear? And it says it was. I think that's enough comments, but safe to say, people have no idea how to care for the hamsters. And I'm proud to say both of my hamsters lived up to be two and two and a half years and they both died of natural causes. I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment what you guys would like to see next. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.